Hello, my name is Madeline Stacklitz, and this is a presentation of my paper of the same name recorded for the 2021 Robert E. Sheriff Lecture. Before I get started, I want to thank you for this opportunity to present my research. The motivation behind this work is the observable increase in the frequency of major flooding events in the Houston area. This increase is evidenced by the number of 100 and 500 year floods that have taken place in Harris County in recent years. A 2008 study highlighted that the state of Texas consistently sustains the most damage from flooding out of all 50 U.S. states. Another in 2020 reported that the state experienced the greatest number of billion dollar disasters between 1980 and 2019 and that it claims the highest cumulative damage costs. Further, several studies have documented expectations of an increase in extreme precipitation events, more frequent wet and dry extremes, and generally fewer but heavier precipitation events. Daily precipitation data were collected from all 185 rain gauges belonging to the Harris County Flood Control District's flood warning system and screened further for suitability by checking for temporal coverage of the study period 1989 to 2018. <clears throat> Only those with at least 90% of daily precipitation data availability over the study period were included in the final analysis. We defined a dry day or R0 to be a day on which no rainfall was recorded. Conversely, we defined a wet day to be a day on which rainfall was recorded. Wet days were, wet days were further classified by daily rainfall totals using specified rainfall depths RN, where N equals 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 100 millimeters, respectively. This methodology is the same that is used by the expert team on climate change detection and indices in calculating their 27 climate indices. The statistical analysis was performed using the Mann-Kindle test, the sin-slope method, and simple linear regression. The sin slopes derived from the from the sin slopes derived from the statistical analysis were then imported into ArcMap to visualize the spatial characteristics of any trends detected using a universal Kriging method. Dry days are decreasing at the expense of increases in all other rainfall bins considered in this analysis. The largest trend can be observed in R10, while the most significant increases occur in R50 and R40, indicating a general trend toward more intense rainfall events. For R50, the positive slope is approximately 0 0.06 per days per year. While it is about a factor of two smaller than R10, this rainfall bin includes five times less rainfall than R10 and it indicates that extreme events may increase further in the future and possibly dominate annual totals. Here, the appropriateness of the universal Kriging method is apparent in each interpolated surface due to patterns exhibited along the prevailing winds line of propagation. The range of annual precipitation increased by about 66% despite the relatively small change in the, min in the minimum value. And the increase in the range of this parameter is primarily due to the increase in the maximum annual rainfall, which has increased by about 38%. It should be noted that this increase is not due to single event extreme rainfall. The maximum number of intermediate rainfall days, R10 and R50, rose by 69%. These days already have the potential to trigger flooding in low-lying areas and contribute to higher frequency of occurrence and warrant protective measures. Additionally, the early, the, early, the early stages of urbanization are exhibited in the total rainfall distribution of 1989, where the highest values of nearly 1,300 millimeters are localized over what is now the core urban area in Houston. By 2018, the emergence of the UHI effect is visible in that the coastal and downwind areas received the most rainfall. Although the minimum number of days has remained nearly unchanged, the occurrence of R10 days has more than doubled. Meanwhile, the minimum and maximum number of R50 days have increased, though the range of values has not changed much. This reflects an overall increase in the number of R50 days in the region. As a summary and reminder of the findings of this work, total annual precipitation appears to increase while varying heavily over the study period. Dry days are either decreasing at the expense of all other rainfall bins or are increasing due to more rainfall falling in less days overall. Geospatially, the dominance of the prevailing wind pattern is exhibited by greater annual rainfall amounts, more R10 and R50 days along its path, and larger ranges of wind of values for all three. 
The results of this study are crucial to residents, elected officials, city planners, and engineers, not only for the Houston area, but for numerous low-lying coastal cities worldwide, most critical for those many rapidly growing megacities in tropical regions. Thank you so much for your attention. I look forward to answering any questions you may have for me on November 1st.